In this MailerLite review, I'll go through the pros and cons of this email marketing software. If you're looking for a totally free tool to get started, then I recommend using MailerLite. It's super beginner friendly as it's easy to get into. A bit like getting casted as a dragon queen. Tip sweat punch. <laughs> Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy. So let's take a closer look at the pros. First of all, MailerLite is super easy to use as the dashboard is super clean and intuitive and you won't get lost at any point. The coolest thing about this tool is that it has email automation included in the free plan, which most other tools don't offer in the free plans. And speaking of the free plan, this tool comes with a thousand subscribers and 12,000 emails per month for free. And even after that, it's one of the most affordable options to scale your newsletter subscribers to 10,000 and beyond. And as you can see in this table that MailerLite is uh, by far cheaper than MailChimp or ConvertKit, which are very popular options right now. Always check prices just before you buy because these might change and also it depends how many subscribers you are actually catering for. It has a lot of different email and form templates to get you started. So you can just choose what you like and use it as your starting point. The templates are easy to modify, although don't expect complete flexibility. The layouts are pretty rigid. And from my experience, it's okay to include affiliate links as long as you are not spamming people with them. But if you recommend a product or service here and there, it shouldn't be a problem. Also, there are a few different form types, for example, inline and a pop-up, and you can even select when the pop-up triggers, for example, after 15 seconds or maybe on exit intent. So when the user is leaving the site, then the pop-up will appear. Stop. Sign up for my newsletter, please. There is also an inline form that you can place on your website, like this one here. And it even comes with landing pages and they are included in the free plan too. Just overall, the interface is super clear and helpful. Even their pricing is so freaking clear. Paid or free, so simple. If you think this review is helpful, I would appreciate it if you could use my referral link in the description because it helps to support this channel and it doesn't cost you any extra. So let's take a look at the cons of this tool. The automation is pretty limited compared to, for example, active campaign. You can do basic stuff, send up welcome email sequence when people sign up and you can have multiple automation flows based on the form they've used. But just in general, there are only a few triggers you can choose from. You can see on the screen what I mean. For beginners, this should be more than enough. But if you need more advanced options, I would go with the Active Campaign. Active Campaign is another email marketing tool which is best known for its superior automation flows. You can see it on here on the screen. For a more in-depth review of Active Campaign, you can find a link in the description. Another thing that I'm missing from this tool is better statistics. Currently it's pretty basic, you can see how your forms are performing overall, but nothing per month or basic segmentation is just completely missing. That's the only cons I've found with the tool so far, although limited in feature, it's a great tool for beginners. Some other cool features that come with the paid plan are survey and click max for advanced statistics people, Delivery by time zone, so if you have an international audience, this is really nice. It's very nice. As it will send out the emails at the local time. Then there is the auto resend, so if some people didn't open an email, you can resend it by just pressing one button. And you can also have a custom domain with the paid plan. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate it if you can give it a thumbs up, because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you're still unsure what tool to use, you can always just check what email marketing tool is your favorite newsletter using. More about how to do that, you can check out this video here. here. And in the second video right here, I've reviewed 16 email marketing tools and I'll give you my recommendation for the best tools depending on different criteria. Whoosh!